this is Stampy and welcome to part number two of the animal challenge. This is a challenge uh, where me and Squid are having a race uh, to see who can be the first person to get one of every different type of animal in the game inside of a pen. And so far I've got none in and he's got pretty much all of them in so it's been a, a pretty slow start from me. Uh, but I, I'm still confident. I still think that there's a good chance I might be able to win this. Uh, right now I'm just looking for a... um looking for a chicken to get into my pen. There seems to be most animals around here, uh, but I don't have any wheat yet. And so if I just sort of wander around holding my seeds, I might be able to get a, a chicken. And look at Squid, he's got he's got a wolf in there, he's got a chicken, he's got a moo moo, he's got a woolly, he's got pretty much everything in there, and I haven't got anything. Right, let's get my let's get my wolf in now then. Come on, Wolfie, get in the pen. Come on, these should be the easy ones. These are the ones that are supposed to follow you anyway. Let me just try and nudge him in. If I just tell him to sit down, there we go. I managed to get myself a dog in. I've got one animal in. <laughs> After over 22 minutes, I've got one animal in. What amazing progress. Anyway, let's go and try and find a, a chicken. Because I know there was one around here somewhere. And as I don't have any wheat... I can't get any other animals in, but I should be able to, to at least get the, the chicken in because uh, the chickens follow you when you hold seeds and uh, they're the only animals that do that. And I think I keep hearing some. Do you keep hearing clucking? And what is this thing over here? I think this was a waste. Oh, this is Squid's wheat farm. Oh, is that how he was able to grow it quicker? Actually... I got bone meal now. I don't need any more bones because I've already got my dog. I could use my bone meal to grow the wheat. Ah, there we go. There's some smart thinking. Right, let's go and um, make this uh, bones into bone meal, which should be around here somewhere. There we go. I've got nine pieces of bone meal. I should be able to get loads of wheat with this. And then I can start going and guiding in some of my animals. And hello, <laughs> there's a little zombie head down there. I'll leave him I'll leave him in the pit. And oh, there's squid. There's squid wandering off. Oh, do you reckon that is the mushroom biome over there? I think he's going off to explore in his little boat. Oh, no, I'm actually she's starting to panic now. The good thing though is I know where the um, the jungle is and I know Squid doesn't because he's not been over in that direction at all yet. And so even though he's doing well here, he's going to have to still spend a whole load of time trying to, to track down the jungle and I already know where it is. So that's um, uh, I think quite a, a big advantage for me. So I guess that's the the only good thing about the, uh, the situation at the moment. Anyway, let's just go and try and get a bunch of animals in. Right, Piggy Wig, Wooly, both follow me and I'm going to go and try and get them in together. Hopefully I can find a, a cow on my way as well. Uh, be careful of the big drops and all of the ravines, everyone. Right, we've already lost one pig, but I've still got uh, two people focusing on me. See, I told you, all these animals are really, really easy. The only difficult ones were going to be the uh, the wolves, ocelots, and uh, mooshrooms, really. And uh, I've already got the wolf in, so it's just the, the ocelot and the mooshroom, which um, I'm really left to worry about. I'm sure I'll be, I'll be able to get a, a cow from somewhere near here anyway. And all like, the pigs lost focus as well. Right, let's go and try and get the sheep in. Right, there we go. The sheep is in. There we go. I've got two in. Um, Don't look at squid side because he's doing better, but there we go. I'm happy I managed to, to get two in. Right, Piggywig, do you want to come follow me? Do you want to come into your, your new home? And oh no, oh my sheep's just got, I left the door open and my sheep just wandered out. That wasn't very smart. Right, well I think a good way to do this would be if I put down a block there and then that way they can just jump over it and then they'll be able to get in by jumping over it but then they can't get back out again. And so that way now I've got these, these animals in here. Uh, like they're not going to be able to get out but I can use that block uh, to let other animals get in. So if I just go and do some some dirt around here as well, then that way the, the, the animals can climb over the dirt and get in. There we go. Look, I'm using my brain again. And look, there's some, some cows over here. So let's go and uh, grab the cows as well. And uh, then I might go and follow after squid and see if there's some, some mushrooms over there. I wandered around the entire world trying to find that mushroom biome in the last video and couldn't find anything. And if it is literally just right there, then I'm going to kick myself because <laughs> I literally explored everything. Thing. And all oh, that squid's coming back. He doesn't have a mooshroom with him though. I don't think he does anyway. He's quite far away. And so, um, is there a mooshroom following him? He's going quite slowly. I think there might be one actually. Anyway, let's go and try and get one of these these cows in then, shall we? Right, do you want to hop over? There we go. I can get two in there. Uh, is, is one of them going to get in? Come on, cows. Hop in. Oh, come on. You're so close. Come on. You're so close. One of you fall in. There we go. I managed to get one of the, the cows in. You don't get... Oh, no, I didn't. All right, if I just go up here and if I give a little gentle nudge. There we go. There's the way to get the cow in. <laughs> Look how happy he is jumping up and down. All right, let's see. Has Squid managed to, to grab a mooshroom? Because uh, if he has, uh, then I might go and head off in the... Oh, he has. He's got a mooshroom. Right. That must be where the mushroom biome is. Right, let's go and make myself a boat then, shall we? <laughs> There's another cow just still hovering. He's still tentatively deciding whether he wants to go in or not. Right, I should have enough wood to to make a boat, I think. 
I don't, then I can go and head off in that same direction and get the moose room. And then it's all going to be just about the ocelot. I've got one string at the moment. I think I need um, either one or two more pieces of string. And uh, then I'm going to have a fishing rod to get some fish. This is going to go right down to the wire. I've probably managed to catch up with him. I do need the, um, I do still need to get the uh, the chicken as well. And oh look, I can just steal Squid's boat. <laughs> Thanks for the boat, Squid. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I can see him there shouting at me like, give me back my boat. <laughs> oh, Jared, I didn't even need to do that. I did have my own boat, but this was just a little bit more amusing. Is this the mushroom biome then? I've never seen one like this. It's massive. They're normally like really small. Is it? Is that my silly mole? I, can, I think there's a few little models of L for Lee. I think that shows he's been there. And look, there we go. There's a mushroom right there, right? Change course. I'm so bad at riding these boats. And it is a mushroom biome. What a, what a peculiar one. Right, let's grab the wheat then. And uh, let's see if I can get him to follow me. Do you want to follow me, buddy? Right, we are heading in this direction. Right, stick with me. Right, the trick is to not go too quick. Because if you get too far away, uh, then they, they lose focus in you. So you just want to try and gradually guide it like this. <laughs> I don't know why I got in the boat, to be honest. Because I can go really quickly. But yeah, the mushroom's there just swimming. I don't think I don't think when you think of an elegant animal in the water, people's first thought is a, a, is a cow, really. You know, they're not, they're not particularly elegant in the water. It's keeping up with me, though. It's doing okay. Normally, uh, I think it would have lost focus with me at this point. So uh, yeah, as long as I, I can get it into the pen, then that's good so uh, my next goal I think is going to be just to go and get a chicken in uh, because even though it should be quite easy um, I haven't seen any uh, nearby in quite a while so uh, if I just simply can't find one then that is my <laughs> that is my challenge ruined so I just want to make sure I get a chicken and then hopefully oh no oh my god change direction change direction I was trying to push in the other direction but because I was in third person I get all got all confused all right let's go get the the cow back to following me then shall we and yeah anyway uh, once I've got the chicken it should be uh, about night and uh, once it's night, it will be good because uh, we'll get a whole load of spiders spawning. And uh, then once, once I take out a few more spiders, I should be able to uh, get enough string uh, to get a uh, fishing rod. And then I can get some fishy fish. And then I can go over to the uh, the jungle uh, in order to get my kitty cat. And then that's going to be the final animal. I'm not missing any out, am I? Wolf, ocelot. Then we've got the pig, uh, pig shell. Pig, cow, sheep, uh, chicken, moose. I, th I think that's everything. I think then that will be the, the whole lot. Luckily, we don't have to, to worry about getting the uh, the googlies in as well. They can all stay on the uh, the outside. Imagine how difficult that would be to get one of every different googly inside of a pen. Imagine trying to get a, an enderman inside of a pen. How difficult that would be. And oh, no, don't lose interest. Don't lose interest. Look, I've still got the wheat. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to give the uh, the wheat to some of these animals because <laughs> all I'm doing is teasing them, waving their favourite food in front of their face, and <laughs> and then they're just I just never actually end up giving it to any of them. Oh god, they're so slow though. Look how slow it's going. Come on, mushroom. We're nearly there. Oh, I suppose Squid had to, to do this as well. He's just uh, one step ahead of me. No, no, don't lose interest. You're still coming. Yep, he, he's still on his way. Going here past uh, Moose Island over there. <laughs> oh, I love finding all those little random moose all over the place. Right, and keep an eye out as well uh, for any chickens. If you see a chicken wandering by, uh, yeah, just uh, give a shout to me. What I might do is I might build a road, and then I can... <laughs> then because I know chickens like to cross the roads, as the uh, the famous joke goes. So <laughs> I could do like, why did the chicken cross the road to get into Stampy Cat's pen? This is getting really close, actually. This is getting really tense, because I still do have the advantage of the fact that I know where the jungle is. Shall I have a quick look at Squid and see where he's head off to. Uh, yeah, I think he's now wandering around trying to find the jungle, which is good because he's wandered off in the, uh, the complete wrong direction as well. I don't think uh, he has any idea uh, where it is. So uh, the jungle's pretty massive. Uh, so I know he is going to find it easily enough, but it is right on the uh, the top of the world. So uh, hopefully he's going to be zigzagging him uh, his way all over the place and he's not going to find it. And uh, I'm just about to be able to, to get my mushroom in the pen. And hopefully uh, while trying to do this, I am going to come across some sort of chicken or something. Uh, so yeah, I can go get that in the pen as well. And uh, it's going to be all about getting that last ocelot. This is what I expected would happen. This is what I thought would happen. I, I assumed it was all going to be just about getting the uh, that last final ocelot. And that does seem to be uh, what has happened. I think oh, I think I've done quite well though. I think the the timing has been just about perfect. Uh, by the time the moose room's in, uh, it should be just about to become night. And uh, so that way I'll be able to take out some some more spiders to uh, try and get some uh, some more string to make my fishing rod. And uh, yeah, if as long as I can get uh, a load more fish before squid, uh, then yeah, we should have a, a good chance of being able to, to win this. Still can't see any chickens around here. There was one right here. I'm hoping squid didn't kill it. There was a chicken just wandering around this area for ages. And I kept going to get it in. Then I kept getting distracted by... um. 
uh, by killing skeletons and stuff, and it, it ended up wandering away. So uh, hopefully there is going to still be one around here. I keep thinking I hear a chicken, but it's it's just Squid's chicken down there. And come on, Mooshroom. I think he's he's being tentative like the, the cows were, right? I might have to give him a, another gentle nudge. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run away. Don't run away. It's all good. It's all good. Come on, Mooshroom. I need to be really careful. If I killed it now, I think I'd burst into tears. Come on. Come on, Mooshroom. And he is in. And there we go. All done. So all I need now is the uh, the chicken and the, the ocelot. So uh, let me just have a little wander around this area here and see if I can I can find any chickens around here. Here we go. Here is a chicken right here. This is exactly what I needed. And uh, we should get some some spiders spawning in soon. Oh, oh it's, it's done an egg as well. I could maybe just try throwing the, the egg in and see if I could just get one spawning in there. I don't know. It looks like a ballistic squid uh, has left the game. So what I might do is I might go and uh, get safely uh, inside of my house and uh, then I can go and uh, invite him back in. Actually, let's go and invite him back in as soon as we can just to make sure it's fair. Oh no, he's, he's left the, the party as well. Uh, he might have lagged out of Xbox Live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly save the game now and uh, then uh, see what's going on and uh, once I've invited him back in we can carry on so yeah back in one second okay squids just managed to, to get back into the game I'm in the exact same place the chicken seems to be depressed are you okay chicken what's the chicken doing why is the chicken broken the chicken's not moving look I've broken the chicken the chicken has broken there we go <laughs> he's just back uh, woke back up there we go, now it's following me. If that chicken wasn't going to follow me then, I was just going to burst into tears. Right, get in. Come on, chicken. Oh no, that was the pig escaping. How's the pig escaping? How did the pig get up there? Oh, this isn't good. Right, okay, I got the chicken in, but the, the pig seems to have fallen out. There we go, I got the, the pig in as well. Right, there's no way for them to escape on this side. They shouldn't be able to, to jump up from that side. And there's another mooshroom there dancing up and down. Oh, that's Squid's mooshroom. That's Squid's mooshroom. He's just come out of Squid's pen. How did that happen? I think he might have like jumped up on like one of the, the dogs or something. Ah, well, I haven't touched it. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> you can't blame me for that. You guys all saw it. Uh, anyway, let's go carry on then. So all I need to do now is I uh, go and try and get a get a kitty cat. So uh, I'm going to go and wander around and uh, try and take out some spiders to, uh, to get some fishing rods. And then I'm going to head over to the jungle and do a little bit of fishing over there just so I'm in the, the right area. And uh, actually, I might just go and head over there now. Let's take out some of these skeletons because I can't be bothered to deal with them. Uh, let's have uh, something to eat as well. I still got a few chicken sandwiches and now I find loads of chickens now I've already got one <laughs> yeah so let's go and um yeah let's go and head up to the jungle it's right up oh no squid's found it squid has found the jungle it's right in this direction I believe and oh no I was kind of hoping that uh, squid would take longer to find it and whoa look at the size of this ravine here <laughs> right I want to be careful wandering down here look at this place it's terrifying right let's go and make my way carefully around the ravine oh look now there's another chicken there as well they're literally all over the place jump over the creeper Ooh, that's not a good sound <laughs> there's uh, another spider over here let's go and take up this guy just to uh, get myself a little bit more string. There we go. I think I may have enough uh, to, to make a, a fishing rod. I, I can never remember whether it's two or... Um uh, two or oh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong direction. I want to go this way. Yeah, I can never remember whether it's two or uh, three pieces of string that you you need in order. I think it might be three sticks and uh, two um, uh, two pieces of string. But don't quote me on that because uh, I'm not sure. Uh, once I get over to the jungle, I go and try and make some. I'm just going to get uh, as much string as I, I can anyway on my way just to uh, just to play it safe. Like while it's night, uh, this is always the uh, the best time to uh, to try and get string. Like spiders don't uh, despawn in the um in the day but they don't burn in the day like a lot of the other googlies do uh, but it's just there's just a lot more of them at night because they're they're all spawning in there's another one down here let's go and take out this one and hopefully not get blown up by those creepers that i know are still following me i might be able to get a music disc here <laughs> whenever there's a, a spider and a um a creeper and a, a skeleton together i'm always just thinking like oh i could get a music disc anyway let's not worry about that for now I'm, this isn't the challenge to get the music disc that could be a good challenge actually a challenge like the first person to make like or we have one night and who can get the the most music discs in one night that could be a, a fun little challenge uh, i might uh, suggest that to, to squid after this and maybe we could do that like this is the decider we did a, a best out of three of these challenges and this is the big deciding one but that doesn't mean uh, we can't do uh, more challenges there in the in the future anyway and i'm just about to approach the jungle i think i'm uh, just about on the the edge of it here now anyway 
and uh, it's going to be a little bit dangerous doing fishing because uh, there are googlies all over the place but I can give it a go. Right, shall I go and plonk down my crafting table uh, somewhere around here once I get to the jungle and uh, let me just make sure that I, I am able to, to make my, my fishing rod before I get too settled. Right, I've got some torches as well which I've not really been using. Let's put a, a few of them around so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I cut down some more wood so I can make a, a new crafting table. I put that down there and I need to make some sticks and then if I go to tools and uh, fishing rod. There we go. I did, I, I did do it right. I did guess right. It was uh, only two pieces of string. So uh, yeah, I might as well might as well go do some, some fishing here then actually, seeing as I've put a few torches around. I'm going to put a few more just around the area. So hopefully uh, not too many things are going to spawn in and ruin my day. And uh, yeah, let's go and uh, do some fishing then, shall we? Let's see how many I can get. As I said, uh, my reaction time is normally not amazing, <laughs> which means that I sometimes struggle to to get the fish. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get, to get a few of them. I want to get I want to get quite a lot. I want to get I uh, say at least five, uh, just so that I don't get into a situation where I found the cat and uh, if it doesn't take one of my fish, then I'm just going to burst into tears. So I want to get as many as I can. And oh, did you see it? Did you see how weird the fish looks in this texture pack? It was like a a little um little square fish or something. But I managed to get one. I've got a hundred percent success rate uh, for for cat. The, the fish so far. Let's see if I can get five in a row uh, without missing any opportunities. And I just saw a spider there to the right of my screen. They look terrifying in this texture pack. When they're far away, they look all kind of glowing. There we go. I've now got two out of five. I'm doing pretty good at this. It's all about it's all about the bobbers. You've got to make sure it's bobbing, and then just the second it dunks under the water, I just need to, to press the uh, the left trigger immediately and uh, see if uh, I'm able to get it. Uh, I've never actually been able to, to get them this quick. It's always quite random. Sometimes you'll get loads really fast, and sometimes you'll be waiting here for for five minutes, and then just nothing happens. So uh, so far, it seems to be going pretty quickly. And there we go, three out of five. I'm doing well. I'm doing a, a quick check behind me uh, just to make sure there's no googly sneaking up behind me. There we go. Four out of five. If I get one more, that is going to be five out of five. And I think that might be my record. I might just keep going until I until I miss one and just see uh, how many uh, fish I'm going to be able to to get in a row. Like it's going to be good. The only problem this is this is a race though. Like I can't just because I'm a cat just worry about getting loads of fish for my dinner. Uh, I do need to to worry about getting an ocelot. I just really don't want to get into a situation where I'm trying to tame an ocelot and it just doesn't work just because I don't have enough fish because uh, that would really make me burst into tears. So I think I'll just get one more. I try and get the the five in a row and then I'll head up to the jungle and see if I can I can find that cat because I did see one earlier yeah, in the last video I did see a cat and uh, I have no idea where it's gone or whether there's any more cats or anything so uh, I am gonna have to try and track them down and they are uh, probably the uh, the most difficult animal to get because uh, they're very shy they always run away from you they get really scared they really live up to the name of being a, a scaredy cat by the fact that they uh, always run away from you whenever you get close to them and come on I was doing so well for the first four. Oh no I missed it when I saw it like it jerked for a little bit it didn't actually bob under the water though and then I pressed left trigger a bit too early oh I wanted to try and get five out of five right there we go there we go I got five fish anyway, uh, so that should be enough. Let me go and uh, grab them at hand just in case I do run straight into an ocelot. And uh, it's good timing actually because it's just becoming day as well. So uh, hopefully there's not going to be too many googlies scaring away the kitty cats. And is squid still up here? Right, squid still up in the jungle, which means it's game on. It's all about getting these uh, these next uh, cats. Is going to be uh, what the uh, the entire game is all about, and we are just about to do it. Sadly. Uh, I am just about to uh, end this episode here, uh, but don't worry, I will be uploading the uh, the next episode in this challenge very shortly, and I'll be leaving a, a link in the description to that next episode once it's online. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying this challenge as much as I'm enjoying playing it. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!